So a quick recap. One, record to multiple source media. Two, back up your data to multiple local sources and then verify your data. Three, store those hard drives in different physical locations. Number four, related to that, make sure when you're traveling that you keep your hard drives in different bags. And then number five, use a cloud storage solution when it's absolutely critical that you don't lose your data. I'm Matt Coakley, and this is a Blue Mantle tutorial. Today's tutorial is gonna be one in a three-part series on data management. This specific tutorial is going to be on source media and backups. And then in subsequent tutorials, I'm going to talk about file organization and project organization. Now this isn't the most exciting subject, but having a consistent and logical workflow will help you be able to find your data quickly, be able to work efficiently, and by finishing your projects faster, then you can spend more time out creating. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you best practices for source media and then for backing up. If your camera is capable of recording on two cards, I highly recommend that you do it. And this is actually very important when it comes to unrepeatable events, such as a wedding. It's possible that some cards could get corrupt. Even in transferring, things could get messed up. So recording on two separate cards right from the beginning so that your source media is already immediately backed up. So after you've shot on two different cards, the next thing is to back up your data onto two different hard drives, at least, at least two different hard drives, because you definitely don't want to lose your data. Um, I've lost data before, I've, I shot a long documentary over the course of three months. So what I'm gonna do actually then is just put one of these in and you can start to look at my screen. So you'll see it come up here on the screen right here. Here is, it snowed a few days ago, and I just really wanted to go out and get some slow motion shots of snow. Ooh. Oh, I missed the focus on that one. So, that's my source media. I have one plugged in. I have my YouTube 7 and backup. All right, let me just go ahead and do this real quick. I'll explain this a little more in detail later, but for now, I'll just put it in here. We're gonna put this as Ellicott city snowfall going into video sources b-roll card one and we then will drag it onto there now it says it's going to take 11 minutes so i'm going to skip ahead so there we go that one copied now i'm going to verify data amounts by the way command i that's a quick way to pull up the info all right they both have 98 items they're about six kilobytes off from each other. I don't know the reason for it not being exact. Sometimes it's exact, sometimes it's not. I've just come to accept it because it has never seemed to be a problem. All right, so that was card one onto the main YouTube hard drive. And then here's where some redundancy gets built in. Card number two, I'm gonna plug that one in. YouTube backup. So I've now copied it and I'm going to check the information on it. Number of files is the same. Data 38.15 and in this case it actually is exactly the same. So feel pretty good about that. I now have my main and my backup and they are backed up from different source media. That makes it so that if I'm working on my main project from my main folder and I find out that one of the files is corrupt, I can go back to my backup and have confidence that the backup file won't be corrupt unless the original file was corrupt. It's not a backup of a backup, it's a backup of the original. I also want to mention that at this stage of data management, I don't like to do what I'll call deep organization of the data. I just like to get it into about the right spot on the hard drive and then later on I will actually give it a much more specific organization, but at this stage, it's just a matter of copying that data and it's roughly in the right spot on my hard drives. After you have both your main and your backup, what you then want to do is store them in two physical locations. So I keep my main hard drive with me at my desk. My backup hard drives for all of my lines of hard drives, I put in a fireproof safe so that that way the data can be retrieved if something happened to this one. 
Here's one other thing, and I'm glad I made a note on it because otherwise I might have forgotten it, and this is actually a really important thing. So I like to travel. If you're traveling, you want your two hard drives to be in two different bags. For me, I keep my main hard drive in my computer case. And then with my backup hard drive, I put it in my check bag or sometimes an equipment bag, something that is going to be separate physically from where I am. You don't wanna be traveling with both of them in the same bag because then your redundancy, if you lose that bag, you don't have redundancy. Hope that's helpful. Also, in addition to having at least two local backups, also have a cloud backup. I have not yet implemented a cloud backup solution for, for myself and for my workflow. And because of that, I can't really recommend any cloud-based storage options. If you really wanna be safe with all of your data, you should have multiple local backups and also one cloud backup. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And next week, I'll be back with more. All right, bye.